So tokenization is the process of breaking data input, and in most cases, text, into smaller parts. So here on the right-hand side, imagine you have a string, and you're going to break it up into its parts, uh, which we represent as an array here. And then we're going to give it a unique ID to the model's vocabulary. So when we're working with LLMs, you have to tokenize inputs. And depending on what LLM you're using, it's going to use a different tokenization algorithm. So for example, if you're using GP, uh, GP3, you'd be using byte pair encoding. If you're using BERT, you'd be using word piece. If you're using Google T5 or, or, or GPT 3.5, you use sentence piece. You won't really notice this when working with LLMs, especially if you are uh, utilizing something like Olama or managed service, because um, these APIs are taking care of this um, algorithm for you. So you just input it and it works there. But when you're working with um, LLMs, the input text must be converted or tokenized into sequence of tokens that match the model's internal vocabulary. What are we talking about when we say internal vocabulary? Well, when an LLM is trained, it's creating an internal vocabulary of tokens of all the stuff that it knows, right? Because if you consume uh, the, the world's knowledge, uh, you want to take all that knowledge, that text, break it down into all its unique components, its tokens, and then assign a value to it. And so these large models could have between 30 to 100,000 tokens. It could even be more than this or less depending on your model. But tokenization is very important so that it understands uh, what's going on here. There are some things that we could talk about, like what happens when it uh, uh, encounters a token it doesn't know. But for the most part, um, this is tokenization that you need to know, okay?